So hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here again and today I want to put a tomato plant, uh, as a matter of fact a few tomato seeds under the microscope, under the stereo microscope, because I'm going to show you today how you can actually observe the growth of the roots um, under the microscope and uh, even after a few minutes you're actually able to see that the root uh, will actually grow a little bit because the, ma uh, the microscope magnifies even the very small and the very slow root growth it's magnified and you're actually able to see that and I think that's uh, kind of nice uh, to be able to do such an easy and a simple straightforward experiment and uh, for this reason I'm going to show you um, how you can uh, try this um, also at home. At this time of course I would like to also invite you to please uh, to subscribe to the channel if you like uh, these videos um, and uh, yeah let's let's get started. Well for growing uh, your own tomato plants of course you have to collect the seeds first and the first thing that you have to do is you have to remove the jelly like pulp uh, from the seeds. That's really important otherwise uh, the seeds will not start to germinate and the easiest way to do that is, is to use a tissue paper and to simply rub, uh, rub off uh, the pulp and then uh, to put the seed for a day or so in, into a cup of water and the water will also flush away the remaining chemicals that inhibit the germination of the seed. Um, yeah, and then I placed the seed simply on a wet tissue paper into a plastic container and I waited a few days um, and uh, it did not take uh, very long and I could already see the very first small tiny roots uh, appear. And uh, seeds do need uh, of course oxygen so it's really important uh, that uh, you do not drown the seeds uh, in water and and therefore tissue paper is quite a good solution here. In order to see the root growth better I also placed black paper uh, yeah, on the tissue and uh, this is also moist and then I put the seed on top. Unfortunately the black paper that I used also started to color off uh, and uh, this is actually not something that should have happened. I took the whole uh, plastic uh, container with the seeds which already started to grow and I put it directly under my stereo microscope. Um, of course I had to adjust uh, all of the lights and everything and after a few days I could see that there were already many many tiny little side roots, not side roots really, root hair rather and those root hair are very very fine. Now what I've done now is, is I wanted to observe the growth of these roots under the microscope and what I've done is, is yeah I I zoomed in quite a bit and I waited uh, several minutes around uh, 25 minutes uh, and uh, I simply turned on the camera and, and I simply recorded uh, the growth of the root barely visible with uh, yeah if you just sit next to it but on the time lapse uh, it was possible to observe uh, the root growth and of course you have to take care that uh, there is always enough water because during this time of course also the water evaporates and the root tips what they contain is, is they can contain a so-called apical meristem and uh, this means that there are lots of dividing cells in the root tip um, and therefore the cells reproduce quickly and after they have divided they will elongate um, and this will also stretch the root. Um, so basically cell division and also elongation of the cells both work together to cause the root to grow. And these seeds here well they are still underwater. Um, it was a second batch of seeds that I was actually testing and even there the roots started to grow quite well and after a few days I could again see the root here. So I'm going to now show you actually uh, in time lapse uh, quite uh, rapidly I'm going to show you now how the root tips actually started to grow. So look at the root tip uh, very carefully and uh, this is 25 minutes okay and I've uh, now repeated the whole thing in a cycle um, so that uh, it's better to observe the actual root growth. Now I know that uh, time lapse of root growth is nothing new but I think the thing that is new here a little bit is that it's under the microscope and that the time was relatively short. So this is the growth of uh, yeah of the root in 25 minutes and uh, of course the water also evaporates a little bit in the meantime but I think it's still quite visible if you look very carefully that the root actually in 25 minutes yeah there is something happening there. Um, I consider this always kind of fascinating um, to actually make uh, such slow movements and slow growth actually visible um, yeah, under the microscope and I also of course had to try the same thing with a slightly more grown plant um, and here too uh, I waited a little bit and uh, after a couple of minutes I could observe that this, uh, the plant actually started to, uh, to grow up and of course uh, to grow towards uh, towards the light. Yeah, so 
there are plenty of things that you can observe um, and there are plenty of uh, seeds that you can also uh, put under the microscope. Yeah, okay, so that's it. I hope that you enjoyed the video and uh, that uh, essentially it motivated you also to try it at home if you have a microscope yourself. Um, please do consider visiting the links that are collected in the description below. Lots of links, uh, also other YouTube channels that I have. Please uh, check out those links, also the Amazon affiliate web shop that I have uh, if you're interested in buying uh, microscopes. This way you can also, of course, uh, support uh, this channel. A thank you to all of my supporters. Uh, uh, and uh, yeah, I think uh, for today that's enough. Happy microbe hunting as always. See you around next time and bye-bye. Uh,